Step 1. Surface must be completely dry and temperatures should be a minimum of 60 degrees Fahrenheit and rising prior to application. Examine the surface where the tape is going to be applied. If the surface is cracked or previously applied substrates are poorly bonded, do not apply tape. Remember, tape only bonds to surfaces or substrates that are tightly bonded themselves. Thoroughly clean the surface where tape will be applied by sweeping or with high pressure air. Without removing the liner, place the preformed material in the desired location and mark the perimeter using a marker or chalk. On pre-cut shapes and symbols, remove the liner from the adhesive side of the tape and carefully place the tape into position. Be careful not to allow the tape to fold upon itself during application. Once the tape is adhered, do not remove and reposition. For rolled goods, slip a 1 to 2 inch rod through the tape's core and adhere 1 to 3 feet of the material. Then continue to apply the material by walking backwards. For larger installations, applicator carts can be used. Never install tape over severe cracks or joints without cutting through the tape on both sides of the cracks. When splicing tape together, use butt splices. Always attempt to position tape in free rolling traffic areas and out of the wheel path areas. Tamp the tape with a tamper cart or slowly drive over the tape twice with a vehicle tire at 2 to 3 miles per hour. When using a tamper cart, apply a 200 pound load at minimum. Tamping is very important. Do not twist or turn the tamping device on the tape. Make three passes back and forth over each part of the line. Make sure all edges are firmly adhered. You may open the area immediately after tamping is completed.